I want to start by, by thanking the Vice Chancellor Midwin Hu and Associate Pro Vice Chancellor Miriam Plantidia for accepting and allowing me to give this speech. I never thought in a million years that I will be giving this speech in real life, as once it was just a daydream of mine. So thank you for making it real. Can you believe it, guys? We're graduating. We've made it. After three years of struggle, and here we are, celebrating and dancing from happiness, sharing this happiness with the people that were there, that were there for us through this whole transition of being the people we are now. So let's thank those people, like our amazing parents. So thank you, Father, for all the lectures you gave me, for all the lectures you gave me all the way to school when I was a teenager and immature. Thank you, Mother, for all the survival skills, uh, for all those careful skills of cleaning and cooking for myself. Thanks to my sister and friends who were there all night making sure I have finished and submitted my assignments. Then I want to thank all the lecturers for your hard work and using all your energy to make us ready for the real life. I also want to say, James Williams, you are a unique smiley lecturer, that your spirit inspires the whole school. Without you, I wouldn't survive those whole three years. You always say I did this all by myself, but no, I did it with your help. I did it with your help when you were there, motivating me, believing in me, and pushing me to follow any dream I had, like this speech, so thank you. Thank you for leaving your office door open, thank you for being an idol for me, and thank you and I would like to thank, like Juan and the other receptionist members. Um, I also would like to thank Suzanne and the, library of, and the librarians for helping me in referencing and finding books when I needed it. I also want to thank Simon and the other caretakers for making me smile with their little jokes, jokes every day. The career advisory department for helping me update my CV. Kim and Jamie and the marketing team for giving me the opportunity to work as a student ambassador. And of course the international office and Gref for the most amazing international trips I had. I want to thank all of you because without you knowing you are considered as friends and family for me for the last three years. UWTSD didn't only transform my education but it transformed my whole life. I came to this country after leaving friends and family back home in a war zone. In case you don't know, I'm from Yemen. Being here for the last four years still seems like a dream for me. And every day I spend my day like it's my last day, as I was afraid if I will, if I will ever wake up from this amazing dream one day. For some reason, in the beginning it was so hard for me to make friends, and that used to put me down. In addition to that, I always used I. I used to be worried about my family every second and when I used to get a call from them, I would pray to God and, and I would say just do not make it a bad news. That was a lot to handle sometimes, but all that stress pushed me, pushed me to work harder and harder in the university and to let my parents know that I'm here, not throwing your money away but I'm working hard and to make you proud. <laughs> I volunteered and applied for every student job or position available in the university as a student ambassador, as a faculty rep, as a course rep, and an international student officer, and more. The reason I did all of this, it used to make my mind busy so I don't think. So I don't have time to think or worry about my family or what will happen to me after graduating as I would never want to go back to that sleepless night fearing if it is my last night. I did all of this to keep myself positive and enjoy what I've got as there are a lot of people that would wish to be in my position and remembering this is what would wake me up every morning. 
You know, guys, I never got first in anything. But here I am today, graduating first class honors. So that makes me proud of myself, of how much I've grown as a person. Of how much I've grown as a person. My family are living in Cairo now, so no more stress. And I have made friends for a lifetime and made my last year in uni a year to remember. So my message to all of you, no matter who you are, never give up. Do not let anything to put you down. If your life is miserable, make that push you. Push you to work harder, as others would wish to be in your place. Never forget your dreams and fight for them, as silly as they are. Many people thought this speech is silly, but it meant the world to me. So fight and fight, never give up, as, your life is, as you live your life only once. And if you haven't reached any dreams, when will you? When will you? And remember this every second. When you, whenever you grow older, you would wish you can go back to that period and change something about it. So make sure every step you do, is that what you really want to do? If yes, then go for it. And do not forget, you are never, never too old or too young to follow your dreams. Thank you.